Hey everybody, Pastor Ryan here. Thanks for taking a second to watch this video. I want to spend some time in 2019. One of my priorities is to invest into you as a leader. If you're watching this, maybe you're a small group leader, maybe you're a ministry leader, maybe you lead ministry even outside of New Hope Church. Regardless of where God has placed you, I want to encourage you, I want to try to equip you, uh, and maybe even inspire you in the area of leadership uh, for 2019. Uh, one of the ways I want to do that is through these weekly uh, videos that I want to send out to you uh, conveniently to your email box. You can watch them at your convenience. Another way is through our Leaders Together Huddle. Uh, we are having one this Sunday, so please mark your, your calendar for that. I uh, look forward to that time with you this Sunday after the second service. Uh, here at my desk here at the New Hope office, I've got two, two picture frames here. One is of my, a picture of my wife, Laura. The second one, this one here, uh, I call my top 10 leadership principles. And on here, I have uh, 10 principles that I have uh, learned and I'm working on in my own life. And what I want to do here for the first several weeks is I just want to take each week one principle. And we're going to go Letterman style. I'm going to start at number 10. And each week, just take one of these ideas and talk about them, both as a way for you to get to know me and the things that I'm working on, because I am not perfect in these areas at all, uh, but hopefully they're an encouragement to you. So in light of that, let's start with number 10 that's on here. It's this, never, as a leader, never stop learning or admitting your mistakes. See, successful or great leaders are humble learners. Now, there's two big ideas here. Number one is that we, as leaders, never stop learning. Proverbs chapter 1, verse 5 says this, let the wise listen and add to their learning and let the discerning get guidance. See, in my own life, this works out in two different ways. Number one is I have, I have uh, two guys, two ministry coaches that I meet with to help me in the area of, of, of leadership. And so, so this looks like spending time with other leaders. That will make you a better leader. Another one is reading books. And if you're like, I'd love to read a book, uh, uh, but I'm not sure where to start, hit me an email, uh, just hit reply. Uh, and I'd love to interact with you and get you a, 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 onto a great resource for you to learn about leadership. So never stop learning. Number two, the next one, admit your mistakes. See, great leaders are able to say, I'm sorry, I blew it. Uh, I thought it was gonna turn out like this and it, it didn't. In fact, I'll say this, if you're a leader who's really trying to lead change and not just manage the status quo, you're probably going to have some moments where it doesn't work out like you hope. So great leaders can say, you know what? That one didn't quite work. Philippians chapter one, verse six. It says, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will be uh, faithful and carry it to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. A great reminder, this verse is, that we're all works in progress, aren't we? And it's so true as a leader as well. We are works in progress. So, so great leaders, they're humble learners, are able to admit their mistakes. So here I want to close with this question. What is one way in 2019 you'd like to grow as a leader? How do you want to learn? Send me an email, I'd love to interact with you on that to help you get started this year. I'm so excited to have these moments together during the week. God bless you and thank you for your ministry as a leader at New Hope Church.